So I decided on making another video. But can you even hear anything? There is an electric kettle boiling water. Let's try that again. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to be making four million tortillas. We're going to be making four batches of however many the recipe makes. Because tonight we have people coming over. At least five other people are coming over tonight and coming to eat tacos. And I'm very excited. It's for my birthday. It's my birthday week. Yesterday was my birthday, but it's still my birthday week. So let's, let's make a four million tortillas. We need four cups flour. No, no, two cups flour. I'm so glad I remembered that it's actually two cups and not four cups. Two tablespoons oil. Pro tip, always keep, pro tip, always keep a plate handy so that when you work with oily, gross things, you can put it on the plate instead of on the counter so you don't mess up your already oily and messy counter. Okay, so the recipe doesn't talk about salt, but Mono has made these before and he didn't put salt in some of them and then he did put salt in some of them and the ones with salt tasted nicer, so we're putting salt in. One, two, three. Pro tip, if you wear a ring, take it off before mixing. I'm going to add the tiniest little bit more water in. Maybe a little bit more. I just realized I only read the ingredients and not the recipes. So I could be doing this completely wrong. The next step would be to switch the oven pan, uh, um, the stove. <laughs> the stove. The next step would be to switch the stove on. Done. Now we're going to use this mug after. It is a thing that Marna created. See? Oh. He didn't clean it. The next step is to spray the hell out of it. <laughs> Excuse me. So we put a piece of this on this. This big? Too bad. It's a little thick, but I don't know if I can make it any thinner. I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna roll it out a little bit more. We don't have rolling pins. It's not around anymore. Ha <laughs> ha! Tip, keep a plate close by so that when they're done, they have a place to sleep. Hold on, I have a better pro tip. Get something else that can be close for the stuff to sleep in. Pro tip, remember that plate you took out earlier to put the, the cooked ones in? Now, don't put that plate away, use it for the raw ones while they wait. Into the plate it goes. Okay, so this is the first one and it's not quite what we want it to be. It's a bit too crunchy. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to make them a bit thinner. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use a whole lot less dough. And I actually wonder if I should just roll it out. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if it being thinner is going to actually make a difference. So look how thin that one is. Well, can you see how thin it is? Okay, so I'm throwing the paper th thin one on now. Try and keep it stretched because they do shrink as they go on. Okay, so this is the thin one, the very thin one. And I think it will work a lot better because it can fold without having to crack or anything. 
Oh, and this is how I am doing them now. I have decided to get rid of that, that press because it just wastes time. Pro tip, quick hack on how to get them as flat as possible. Roll it as flat as you can, then lift it up, turn it around and roll again. Let me continue this process off camera and I will get back to you soon. Pro tip, uh, forget about the other pro tip that I told you about putting them in a plate because they stuck together and now I have to restart all of them again. So. Okay, so I've made three batches now and um this third batch i don't know what the heck happened to this third batch but now i don't know i had my sizes down and i knew what size baliki to make and how to you know whatever this one i, I don't know what the heck is happening i i honestly think i i have no idea what's happening because look at these look how huge these are it's really unnecessary to be this big and then i think that uh it's small and all and so then when i pick it up i'm like okay well it's small but then i pick it up and it becomes gigantic and if i make it too small and too thin oh and if i make it too small and too thin then it just freaking tears so i i don't like this last batch and i think it's safe to say i'm never freaking doing this again i'm just gonna make two more i'm gonna make two more I'm going to make them as thick as freaking humanly possible. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> does this look like a tortilla to you? No, it freaking doesn't look like a tortilla. And look how it folds when you put it in the, in the pan. I am never making them again. I am officially done. I don't know how many there are, but here is the pot of tortillas. I hope there's enough. I'm not making another batch. Uh, I still need to make. I still need to make chicken for the insides. It is ten to one. I started this at half past ten. It is now ten to one. So it was just under two and a half hours that I was sitting doing this. And now I have to clean my house. I don't want to. Thank you for watching. I will see you when I see you. Okay, bye.